Welcome to lab 5 of our FPGA VHDL lecture series. The aim of today's lab is to learn about process and case select statement. We learnt about process and if else statement in the previous lab. So right now we are going to learn about case select statement in VHDL. So to start we again go to Xilinx ISA design suit. Now we open a new project. Let us call it case SEL. Click the next button twice and the finish button. On doing so we are again welcome with the very familiar screen. of our FPGA and our project. So we go to our project, right click on it, add a new source, click on VHDL module and give a name, usually same as our project name, case underscore SEL, click the next button twice, then hit the finish button and here we can see the same screen. Standard library included, entity and architecture, begin and end written. So, case select. To study case select, which is a conditional statement, we use the same example from our previous lab. That is, we have four inputs A, B, C and D. One output Y. But here, instead of three control signals or three select lines, we have only two select lines, like in the case of a multiplexer. We have two select lines to control four inputs coming to one output. So, to create this multiplexer in VHDL, we use the case select statement. So, the entity of this lab and the previous lab is exactly the same. So, we start with port opening round brackets, capital A, B of the same type. C again of the same type. D of the same type. Now here our select input is standard logic vector but instead of being of 3 bit wide, instead we will use a 2 bit wide select line. Since the multiplexer needs only 2 bits to control the 4 inputs, we have only one output from our system that is Y. Close the round bracket, semicolon, avoid putting semicolon on the last line of the port. Now, after writing begin, we have to again write the special keyword that we learnt last time, process. And after process, we have a set of parentheses or brackets, which is also called as the sensitivity list. Here we include all the input parameters that we have in the sensitivity list. This is the list to which our process will respond or changes to these signals 
will result in the calling of process. Then we begin our process by writing the keyword begin. Then again, the syntax for case select is as follows. We want to have conditional control by having the condition on the signal SEL that is the control signal is going to be select line or SEL. So we first write the keyword case followed by a space. Then the condition SEL which is going to be controlled or which is going to control the inputs being relayed to the output. So case select is, is is a keyword again. Now what do we want when select is 0 0 we want the output to be A. When it's 0 1 we want the output Y to be B. When it is 1 0 we want the output Y to be C and when 1 1 D. So here we write the keyword when after writing case select is then we specify our condition that is if select equal to 0 0 but here we avoid writing select equal to we just write when 0 0 since select is already written above in the case so when select is 0 0 here we put a special kind of assignment statement not actually assignment statement a directive statement equal to and greater than symbol so it is the right directional arrow of sorts then again followed by a space y assigns to a this is our usual assignment statement return after the when statement and after the special right side pointing statement that is when select line is 0 0 the output y is same as the input a when 0 1 the output y is same as the input B when 1 0 the output Y is same as input C when 1 1 the output Y is same as input D now we have to assume a special case where the input is neither 0 0 nor 0 1 nor 1 0 and not 1 1. How is this possible but we have covered all the possible 2 bit combinations of logic high and logic low. But we didn't take into consideration the high impedance. So we put a special case which is included in the syntax called when others here again others is a keyword followed by the rightward arrow the output y must be given a value 0 when others is a necessary component of case select statement Without when others, the compiler will surely issue an error. We'll check that out during synthesis. Now, since we have begin the case, we must end case, a compulsory syntactical statement, end process, and also end our behavioral, which is already written for us. 
Now let us try and go and synthesize our code. We first save it and synthesize. Here we can see the green tick notifying that our code got converted to hardware successfully that is it synthesized successfully. Now let us check the RTL schematic. Double click on this and here we can clearly see the multiplexer that we have created. So right right now let us try to avoid this condition when others by simply putting two hyphens in front of it that is making it a comment comments are ignored by the compiler so we have just commented by putting two hyphens in front of when others let us see how the synthesis tool react to this first save our project then try to synthesize Here, as we can see, that synthesis has failed. Down here, if we go and check the errors, we see an error over here. The error reads, a value is missing in case. So this value is specified by others, which is a necessary component in any case select statement. Thus, we have learned how to implement case select statement and multiplex many of our inputs to output using VHDL. This concludes our lab for the day. In the next lab, we'll look at some other features of VHDL and implement some other designs using VHDL.